Hi Shallows, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reacting to two solos. We're gonna do Onu's Blue and we're gonna also do Minho's uh, I'm Home. So I don't know anything about either one of these tracks, uh, but I'm really excited to get into both of them. I thought it would be cool to put both of theirs together because there's such a difference in their vocal tones that I thought it would be a nice contrast. Um, to one another. Now after this I will have done Taemin solos, Key solos, Onu solos, Minho solos, so I'm gonna do Jong Hyun's next. So if y'all have um like give me your like two or three most recommended Jong Hyun solos because I know he has a lot. So um but with that being said I'm really excited to hear both of these um and I see this one was in 2018 so it's not extremely new but it's not um really that old in comparison to shiny's entire career so with that being said let's get into onu's blue okay i like the string orchestra at the start i don't think this had captions at all so He has such a musical theater voice. And hasn't he done musical theater before? Woo! This is a really interesting concept. I wish I knew what the lyrics were. To help kind of understand. Oh, that's a cool effect. Oh, I see he does. I wish I knew what the concept was. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Wait, did the end of it just start the cycle back over? That was crazy. Wow. Um, wow. There was a lot to process in that one. Um. I don't know why... I don't know why anything that happened happened. But I thought it was fitting that there was a thunderstorm going on during all of that because I think personally that Onu's voice is is almost as like gives off the same power as a thunderstorm does. I mean some of those notes were just absolutely like roaring. They just kind of take you over. And that's just that's that's what it feels like when it's when the thunderstorm occurs. Um, that was incredible. He's got such a musical theater voice. And I think I think he's done musical theater. I'm almost positive. But um, if I'm not. Or if that's not true. Y'all let me know. But I, I want to say he has. And if he hasn't. Oh my god he should. He's like. The, the theater like community is missing out. If he hasn't. Um. But there's there is so much power and emotion in his voice, and he did a this type of MV called for um, at least some sort of acting, and I thought he did it beautifully. I mean, you could really see the pain and the confusion and just every emotion he was going through on his face. Uh, I really wish I had the lyrics to that one because that that MV is hard to hard to figure out at surface level. Um, there's probably a deeper meaning to all of it, um, but I'll have to go look look back at the lyrics to kind of better understand that. But wow, what a voice! What a voice! S and vocalist man, never 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 disappoint. Like I don't, who. They, they're a different breed. I feel like you can always tell when you hear people sing that they're like from SM, because it's just it's just different. Even like, like I started watching, um, was it Girls Planet Nine 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 or something? Um, and I think a couple of them or one or something it used to be SM trainees, and you can just like even just as like ex SM trainees, you could tell the like vocal training they had or at least the the little bit they had um compared to the other contestants so um i think people in the k-pop community i would like to think um all feel that if you want to really really gain like and perfect your technique when it comes to vocals um you go to sm Cause there's there's nothing like the training you'll get there. Um, so, but with that being said, we're gonna go on to Minho's um, "I'm Home." Now this is a station track. This isn't an official. Um, like Onus wasn't a station. Onus was just a regular MV. But this is a station track. So I'm interested to see how it is different or why it's a station and not just like a regular solo. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Station. Man, I feel like I haven't seen a station track in a while. So this was a few months after Onu's uh, MB came out. why but I have a soft spot for every track that starts with a whistle track yeah. 
흥얼거린 멜로디 네가 좋아한 노래 별 의미 없이 불러보다가 요즘 넌 뭐해 어떻게 지내 밝은 조명 시건 음악 화려한 옷 비싼 술 집에 돌아오니 모두 꿈 같아 지금 느끼는 쓸쓸함이 너 때문인지 기분 탓인지 Oh baby I don't know what's on my mind 내가 혼자였어 그래 It looks so good 너무 지쳐있어 그래 딱히 네가 보고 싶은 건 아냐 I love the fact that you would hear this and never realize that Minho usually um, is pretty much in charge of the rap for Shiny. I like that. Um, I, I'm still not sure why it was it was a station, um, but Midhouse was definitely easier to comprehend than Onus was. Um, what I loved about Midhouse is I kind of said something about it in the middle of uh, the track. Uh, you would never listen to this song and think Minho is in charge of rap because his vocals are so good um because this is shiny and the yeah, positions they don't do that there so um i just i find it amazing how well-rounded each one of them is and i feel like you kind of have to be nowadays uh, you have to be able to do everything. Um, I know there's definitely like groups that focus on their own aspects and perfect that and don't really like branch out into the other whatever. But at least like from what I've seen from SM groups, pretty much all of them have to be able to do everything. Dance, rap, sing, all of it. So, um, but I also really enjoyed the fact that his... Minho's, uh, like, singing voice and his rapping voice are very different. Um, his singing voice is very light and delicate and airy. Um, and his rapping voice is more aggressive and more gritty. Um, and it's really cool how he can change that so quickly in the song. I mean, of course, there was a little bit of a break between 
the vocals and the rapping. Um, but even going from rapping to vocals, he kind of made that switch rather quickly. So, um, but they, both of them did an exceptional job with their solos. Um, I tried to look for more, but I couldn't really find any with MVs. So, if I am missing some, please let me know. Um, but with that being said, I enjoyed both of these so, so much. Um, and don't forget to leave me your, like, recommended John Ken solos for me to listen to. I haven't heard any of them, so have, have at it. Uh, but also kind of recommend me some more shiny things you want me to react to because I, um, I need to give shiny more attention here soon so but with that being said uh be on the lookout for my next shiny content it will probably be those solos um but thank you guys for supporting this channel love you guys love being a shot wall um i'm kind of i'm i wasn't as i didn't get to see um i wasn't I guess, introduced, how do I explain this? Um, I guess after I got, I got into K-pop and got my sister back into K-pop, um, I definitely remember the shiny stuff she showed me from when she first got into it, but, um, she, we didn't really do a whole lot of shiny afterwards, um, or after I got back into it. Um, because, um, that was pretty much the reason she got out of K-pop. But, um, so I didn't really get to hear or appreciate all of their solos. Taemin's, of course, I've seen, um, his bigger ones, but there's definitely a couple of, uh, tracks that do need my attention. So, um, but... I missed a lot of their solos, or practically all of their solos, so give me solo recommendations to do. Um, so, But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, Shawls.